Right, our story today is called You Can Be My Friend and it's from Charlie and Lola. My children used to love watching Charlie and Lola when they were little. Um, here's Lola at the front and this is her friend who we're going to meet. Um, they're the characters, the person who wrote the stories um, is a lady called Lauren Child. She's the author and she also did the illustrations as well. She's very clever, isn't she? Okay, here we go. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Today, Lola is excited because Marv is coming over and he's bringing his little brother, Morton. Here's Charlie and Lola. They're looking very happy in the picture, aren't they? Lola says, me and Morton are going to do lots of things together and have a tea party. I love having tea parties and dressing up. Everybody loves dressing up. Then I say, if you run out of things to do, Morton really likes playing round and round and round. But Lola says, oh no, I really do not like round and round. All you do is go round and round and round. Nothing happens, Charlie. Then the doorbell rings, ding dong. And Lola shouts, Morton's here! Lola says, hello, Morton. Morton doesn't say anything. So Marv says, Morton's not really a big talker. And Lola says, Morton, do you want to see my room? But Morton still doesn't say anything. Lola says, would you like a cup of tea, Morton? Morton just stares. So then she asks, would you like a biscuit? <sighs> oh, not a peep from Morton. Well, says Lola, what we'll do now is dressing up. Look at me, Morton, I'm a mermaid. Morton, you can be a pirate. But Morton just stands there. So Lola says, I know, let's pretend we live in upside down. Lola says, in upside down, absolutely everything is completely upside down. Would you like a cup of tea of cup, Morton? That's upside down for cup of tea. Morton doesn't even move. So Lola shouts, Morton, don't you want to play? Morton just shakes his head. I think he's feeling a bit shy, don't you? Later, Lola whispers, Morton didn't like any of my games, Charlie. He didn't even talk to me. So I say, Marv told you Morton isn't really a big talker. Then Lola says, but he didn't even say one single word. He doesn't like me. <sighs> then Lola sighs. That's a sigh. Can you do one? <sighs> and she blows some bubbles in her pink milk. Blah, 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 through her straw. And do you know what? Morton starts giggling. <laughs> then Morton tries blowing pink milk bubbles. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Lola and Morton giggle some more. Then Lola says, I know, I know. Next let's play bubbles outside. Morton, what do you think it would be like to be inside a bubble? Bubbly, says Morton. I love being in a bubble, says Lola. And Morton says, I love being in a bubble too. Later, we all have tea at Marva Morton's flat. Lola and Morton can't stop giggling and whispering together. <laughs> Morton asks, would you like to play a game, Lola? It's called Round and Round. Lola looks unsure, so I say, go on, Lola. And Lola says, okay, Charlie, but only because Morton is my special friend. Morton says, your turn, Lola. What you do is, I know, says Lola. You go round and round and round and round. 